Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue's. Have you ever wondered what games you should sell or you should use? Find out here at Purdue's. Find out on our top 10 list what games you cannot miss. Don't forget to subscribe to Purdue's. So, well, today I have with me, what's your name? Madeline. Madeline. And we're going to be talking about Lily's Three for All. This is a game right game about Lily. The mouse, right? Yeah. The jumping mouse. And she jumps around a lot and she does all kinds of fun things in the game. So tell me about how, why you like this game or what you didn't like about it. Well, I like it because of the cards. Like, this is a card game. So basically, if you have the um, card to match that card, you can only have two cards, but if the card matches that card, you can grab it. So if you liked matching the cards? Yeah. What did you not like about the game? What I did not like about the game is you need a lot of space for the okay. game. The third one, the domino game, took up a lot of space, didn't it? Yeah. And you said, you said, and I asked you after the game, I said, did you like this game? You said, I like it, I don't love it. Why did you like it and not love it? Because I liked it because I thought it was good, but what I did not like about it was the third one. Oh, the domino one. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't like that one too much. The second one you didn't really care for because it was very much like the first one, remember? Yeah. We had to match the colors. You didn't like that one that much. Are we going to keep this one or are we going to get rid of it? I want to keep it. Why do you want to keep it for? Because you like to keep all games? Yeah. But you don't really like this one that much. Yeah. Plus, it's been a long time since we played it. We played it last night. Well, since last night. Okay, we haven't played it since well, last night. That's a long time, right? Okay. Last night we have. Last night was the last time we played. You keeping it or you purging it? Um, okay. Lily's Three for All. Here are the components. This is a game right game, so you're going to get a pretty portable box. You're going to have some instructions that kind of fold out black and white. This is par for the course. You're going to get three games in this box. The advertisements and little comment card. I wonder how many people actually send this comment card back, but they put them in every game. And you're gonna get a deck of these oversized cards. And one is just a little advertisement to try Lily's Purple Plastic Purse Game. And these cards are just gonna be these humongous cards with different artwork and colors on them. They are pretty easy to shuffle. The kids like them because they're nice and big and easy to see. Um, one of those games like you almost think that they put a license on at some point, but here it is. Uh, this is all you get. Very good. Now this game comes with three different versions of rules in it. Did you find the rules pretty simple, Madeline? Yeah. Which game did you like the best? The first one, the second one, or the third one? I can't choose. I can't choose. So you like them all? Yeah. I think we had the most fun playing the first one, right? First and second. Now, you're six, and you didn't have any problems learning the rules. Jack is four, and he was able to play along with us, correct? Yeah. And the game says four to eight, so that seems pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, that's why it was easy. Okay. So there's three games in the box. The first one, you're going to set up six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you, yourself, each of the players will have two cards. And what you're trying to do in this game is just look for matches. So I got sunglasses. Uh, what else do we have here? I'm going to try to play along. 
I got Jumpin' Lily and Sunglasses. So on my turn, I'm not gonna score very many points. I'll put that down and pull another one. And if it came back to me on my next turn, everybody took a turn. I have one card, I draw another one. Oop, two Lilies. Uh, there's two Jumpin' Lilies out, so I'll, I'll play this one. And this one goes on my scoring pile. I fill the board back up and I do it again. That's it. And at the end of the game, you count up all your points. One, two, three, four, five. And whoever has the most points wins. That's game one. Now game two is a little bit of a <laughs> hidden demeanor here because really it's just the way you score. So the game is the same, set up six cards and you look. But here's where the difference pops in, is the scoring. So let's say I take this card because it matches the little man there. And I can take as many that match. Uh, so let me do that, I'll take the purse. So the purse matches. Now I set each of these down in their own scoring pile by color. And then, still have my one card in hand. Fill the deck back up. It goes around everybody else. I draw another card. And now, same thing as before, I'm trying to match as many as possible. Now I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible too, so I might miss something, but I see one dancer, or one singer, rather. So here's the singer. Put her in the blue pile, and I have a yellow pile. So the only way this is different in the game, you count up whoever has the most. I got two blue, everybody else has one, great. They lose all theirs, I score two points. Not two because there's two cards, you just get two points for having the most. Here's green, I have one, nobody else has any. I score two points because it's the most. That's it, so what you're trying to do is get majority of colors. It adds a small wrinkle to it, I think it's more of a variant, but they call it a second game. Here's a third game, it is just dominoes. Everybody put one card out, everybody gets five cards. And all you're trying to do is get rid of your hand of cards. So. Singer and singer match, kind of put it right there, and then the next person goes. On my next turn, I need a drum or the, the kid holding his eyes. I have neither, I draw a card. And this just continues on around the table until, oh, get a drum, until everybody matches or loses all their cards. Um, I didn't have to draw, sorry. I need a kid, see what I got here, sunglasses, nothing, I do have to draw. It's kind of harder when you're playing by yourself. But that's it, it's just dominoes. You're matching the colors up, and or not the colors, the pictures up, and if they match, so be it. If not, you have to draw a card, and you can just kind of zigzag it around to whatever fits your table the best uh, as you go. And that's how you play it. Now, who should buy this game? Um, anyone who likes board games, kind of. People who like board games. How about kids? You think kids would like this? Yeah. And Jack was four. He was able to play. I would even say maybe a three-year-old, because he just turned four a week ago or two weeks ago. So I think even a three-year-old three could play this game if they wanted to. Did you like how big the cards were? Yeah, that was easier. Yeah, that was easier having the little small cards than some of the other games, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't think this is a game that will be like laugh out if you can find it cheap somewhere maybe, but this probably isn't your favorite game, right? Yeah. There's games that you'd rather have than this game, right? Yeah, like... Take the Ride First Journey? Yeah, or... My First Stone Leonardo, Age? Yeah, or Leonardo da Vinci. Oh yeah, you love that game, don't you? We should do a review of that one. Yeah. So this is Lily's Free For Us. We're going to give it a lukewarm review. Madeline wants to keep it because she likes to keep all of her games but it probably is a purge. Bye everyone, thanks for watching.